Hey, I'm back and I'm ready to flash these ESCs. I can talk a little louder because I'm in the back room now, so my daughter's asleep and I don't have to worry about waking her from back here as much. Uh, sorry, visibility isn't going to be as great back here. Light's pretty lousy, but let's do the best we can. So I've got my Arduino. It's an Arduino Mega and I've flashed it to turn it into a programmer. I've got my board with my programming headers on it. I've got my... Uh, current limiter I made up. I ended up putting a JST on here for power with a JST to XT60 adapter. I've got my battery hooked to that. So, you know, we can power up our board with this, and right now we're limited to no more than half an amp of current. You'll notice that ESC is not lighting up anymore. I already flashed that one, and it worked! So, we got three more to do. So, let's try and get through this and uh, show how to do this. I'm going to come up and show the screen now instead of uh, what I had and we'll see if uh, I'm just trying to see if I can get BL Heli to be a bit bigger on the screen now it's as big as it goes so I will uh, pan up here so we can see the screen and I'll talk through how I did all this now so coming up and hopefully that will get our screen on on there Shooting with a Mobius, you know, I got no preview, no way to tell what I'm doing, so I tried filming off of a capture program and it crashed and burned. This computer is so ancient, can't keep up. But the first step is to turn this into a programmer. So you're going to go to, and we're going to go with the uh, four way interface. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Make Interfaces. Oops, I don't have it connected anymore. So I'm going to plug plug my Arduino in. Arduino's plugged in. We have power. And you'll see down here we have COM8 Arduino Mega 2560 selected. This will work with all kinds of Arduinos. I just happen to be using the Mega because I used to use these as uh, multi-Wii flight controllers. And I have a couple of them that have been bashed up. And like this one, I knocked the 3-volt uh, regulator off of it. So can't really use it anymore for that, but it still works great for this kind of stuff. So we select our Arduino board, which in my case is the 2560. We're going to go to four-way interface, say OK. Now I went with the, uh, the multi. I'm really not sure what the other ones are here, the PB2, PB3, PB3, PB4. I'm guessing that has to do with which pins it's mapped to this one, RDU PF1, PF0. I don't know. I went with the multi. And one document that comes with uh, BL Heli Suite shows right here from the mega board that your uh, data your your uh, data pin goes to D50 on the mega and your clock pin goes to D51, and then if you're running multis, you can do D49, 48, and 47 for ESCs 2, 3, and 4. Now, I'm only hooking up one at a time right now, but ideally, I'll make up a header and show how to do that so you can flash all four at once. So that's why I went with the multi-interface here. Uh, once you select that, it'll, it'll tell you to flash. We can go ahead and do that, say yes. It's going to connect up. You can see activity here. Done. That easy. Okay. So now we'll come back here to ESC setup. We're on COM8. And I'm going to go ahead. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to connect this to the ESC I want to program on the board. And I'm going to power up my board through my current limiter. And we are going to come in here. We're going to make sure that we have our four-way interface selected. And then we're going to hit connect. I'm going to hit this first one since I only have a single ESC right now on this setup. And I'm going to hit flash BL heli. It's going to confirm it's multiple ESC configuration. I don't know why it does that the first time. So I reselect single. I hit flash. And now it'll let me select Emacs 20 amp, 
multi, latest available version, OK. Are you sure? Warning, warning! Yes. Here we go. We're writing. There's nothing to see down here, really. There's a little blinking on the Arduino. That's it. It re writes it. It reads it. Confirmed. We're in. So again, now we can see that we're in here. We're going to change our P PWM frequency to damped light. I'm going to change my beacon down to five minutes. I don't want to wait 10 minutes until it starts beeping at me. I don't really want it at two minutes either, but five minutes I can live with for now. Uh, once I have the cable to do four and I'm happy with how this is flying, I'd love to set it down to two minutes or one minute because in normal use that's more what I'd want. But when I'm doing a lot of testing and debugging, I live, like a bit of extra time. I'm leaving everything else on here stock for now. Um, I don't see anything here that really needs to be tweaked from where it's at. So we're going to go ahead and write setup. Write OK. We can read our setup to confirm. And there we go. So that's two ESCs good. If we uh, come back down, hopefully that's in, you'll notice the light's out on that one now too. Which is actually a good thing because real BL Heli doesn't know to light those ESCs. Or those those LEDs. So that's two down. We're going. I'm going to uh, disconnect power from my board, and I'm going to unplug my programming header from that one. And I'm going to come around to one of the others and connect it up. And then power up my board again, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a uh, single ESC flash BL heli max 20 multi OK yes writing to device reading from device success And we're going to change our uh, to damp light and drop our beacon to 5 and uh, write the setup. Okay. Um, there we go. This time I'm not going to bother with. Uh, powering down my board. I don't really think it's necessary. So I'm going to disconnect from that one. I'm going to reconnect to this last ESC that hasn't been programmed yet. And we're going to hit flash BL heli. We go with 20A. Multi. OK. Yes. Writing to device. And then reading from device. And we'll change ourselves to damped light. And change our beacon down to five minutes. And write our setup. And there we have it. Um, I can disconnect power, reconnect power, and now. None of the ESC lights come on anymore, which is what we expect at this point. And we should be good to go. I should be able to put this back in the board, back in the frame, and should be ready to fly. Uh, so, bonus. I guess I should add in the usual here. If you like this, give me a thumbs up and like it, and uh, subscribe, because, you know, that's what makes me make these videos. The more people who watch them, the more I'll keep making them. And who knows, maybe I'll even get a real camera and better computer so I can actually edit this stuff and make it worthwhile. <laughs> but, hey, I really appreciate anybody who's watching this, and uh, hopefully you appreciate the information. So, there we have it.